Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Dredge, where last time some people ate some fish in disgusting ways, somebody ate some rotting eel, and the hungry, definitely not occultist, ripped out fish hearts and ate them raw in front of us. It was all a bit weird, it was a little bit odd, can't they just have, you know, regular cooked fish, can't they just have, you know, cod and chips or whatever, I don't know, but there we go, let's move on from other people's poor culinary choices. Today we are going to head out to the Stella Basin over there, and we're going to try to get the sort of treasure for the collector and move the main story on a bit although i don't think it's going to be as easy as that we're not just going to sail over go right to where the x is and haul up the goodies because there's going to be something to do there's going to be something in the way and we're going to have to work around it because you know that's how the game works however before we head over to there i would like to go and check these islands out because last time we said oh we're going to go and look at these and we never did we kind of ended up over here and round here in that part of the world and even up here a little bit as well which was a bit scary but we'll go back there at some other point but yeah so we're gonna have a look around these first because we kind of overlooked those last time particularly that big one there that's quite a big island i don't know if there's a little kind of you know dock or anything off that island it would be quite good if there was because I suspect it might take us quite a while to look around that, but I think that's what we do. We have got a bigger boat, and of course we have our new extra engine as well, which is very exciting. So I think we head over in that direction. Hang on, so we want to go uh, to the southwest. Okay, we can do that because we have a compass. So here we go, let us undock, and we'll head over to the southwest. I think we kind of have to go, do you know what, we could, we could duck through this gap here. We could go through that gap there. Look at us motoring now. Wow, this is wonderful. Okay, we're going very quickly. Right, is that is that an island that we want to look at? Hang on, get the map on. Um, I think it might be. I think it might be. Hang on, are we getting nearer? Yeah, okay, right. So this is the big island. This is the big island that we want to go and look at. I'm fairly sure that's what we're coming up on, isn't it? Yeah, okay, wonderful. So I think we'll work our way around. Let's go around this way, look. We'll go around the back of the island. Nothing over there, just the big expanse of nothingness. Is there anything here worth looking at? Um, oh, okay. We've completed reading our book about haggling and bartering. Okay, now what does that give us? I think that could be quite good. Uh, where is it? Scroll down. So another 5% increase to our sell prices and 5% reduced buying prices. So combine that with Art of the Silver Tongue, we've now got 15% better selling prices and 15% better buying prices. That's really good. That is very, very good indeed. That's going to help a great deal. Okay, that's good stuff. So now we can do, you know, sort of trading a little bit better. That's very helpful. Is there any reason not to pick up some fish from over here? Or do we want to just go exploring today? Do you know what? We shall have an explorey day. We're not going to go... Hang on. What we could do is actually, if we go and grab, grab the spyglass, can we try and work out what they are? They're oceanic perch. They're the little tiny ones. That's fine. We don't need to catch those. We're going to come back around this way and we're going to see what there is. There is... I mean, what is that on there? Is that sand? Like a kind of a sandy island? Okay, no kind of shipwrecks or mysterious people that are hungry and want to rip out fish hearts or whatever. It looks like a relatively ordinary island. Oh, no. Oh, no, there is a person. <laughs> Hello. Would you like us to get you some fish by any chance and you can rip out its heart? There is somebody there. Hello, how are you? You approach a hooded figure. Dirty gold robes obscure all features except for a pair of withered and blackened hands. Here we go again. Right, what would you like? Fisherman, deep calls, respond. Their voice gurgles with the sound of fluid in their lungs. Okay, I might struggle to replicate that when I'm doing the speaking for you, but okay. An answer. The hooded figure holds out a scroll. They tap at a shape depicted. It looks like a red snapper. Okay, right. You do want us to bring you some fish to eat. Okay. I thought we were over that. I thought we'd done all that, but okay. Um, that could well be just there, a red snapper. That could be it. It looks like the shape they just showed us. Okay, let's give this a go, shall we? Um, that is, I mean, that's a fancy red snapper. That's a posh one. But I mean, are we going to be able to sell that? We caught a trophy fish. That's quite good. Um, hang on, so grab that and grab that. Right, so we've got another one. Um, okay, what we'll do is... Oh, hang on. That's a that's a weird one as well. Swollen flesh folds back over its eyes. Cracked lips bleed through mounted scar tissue. Uh, okay, now that's, that's all a bit grim, isn't it? Hang on, we'll fish for another one, please. Just a regular one. That will do, thank you. Is that normal? Yes, it is. Um, okay, it's already six o'clock. 
It's already six o'clock. It's going to get dark. We're going to get scared. It's all going to be terrible. Right, hang on. Right, hello there. How are you? An answer. Okay, right. You can have that red snapper. You're very welcome. They rip through the throat of the fish and tear out its heart. I thought we were done with you lot, but no. It's in their mouths before you have time to process what you saw. Another. A sacrifice. They point to another shape on the scroll. It looks like a fang tooth. Okay. It says their type abyssal. I don't, we can't catch abyssal fish just yet. That's nothing that we can do anything about, I'm afraid. Um, okay. That is a little bit of a nuisance, isn't it? And now we have a little bit of a quandary. What, what we could do is, I think the, uh, the photographer is on that island there. Or do we just try to make our way back to the dusty pontoon? Or do we go and sit with the photographer for the night? Maybe we head over to... Where was the photographer? Because it is going to get late. Is it that island? Yeah, I think they're over there. They've got a dock over there. We don't want to be out here at night. Although, there is something exciting there. What is that? That is potentially... Is that a research part? I will definitely have that. Yes, we will absolutely catch that. Even though it's a bit late, we will have that. Thank you very much. Okay, that's perfect. I think that means... We can finish research on the, the thing that we wanted. I'm just going to keep talking and forget about the weird, terrifying shapes that are in front of us. Everything's fine. Of course, we've got a new light as well, which is very exciting. So it's shining a little bit further, hopefully keeping us a little bit more sane. Hello, photographer. We're back for another hug. We're definitely not scared. Uh, right, have a bit of a rest. I think those fish are going to be a bit mouldy, aren't they, by the time we wake up? Because they will have been sat in the boat for ages. Um, there is something over oh no, no that's a rock there is a rock as well don't crash into that there's something there what's that is that some just bits and bobs can we do anything with that oh shapes in the deep okay good is we might be able to sell for a tiny bit of cash very nice just keep doing the dredging of those and it's a bag of doubloons everybody loves a bag of doubloons wonderful i think those fish might go a bit moldy but never mind it's okay it's not too much of a bother right so on that big island there there's another crazy, definitely not a cultist who wants to eat fish hearts. Um, what about this island here? Is there anything on this island here? And also, how do we go about catching abyssal things? Because we haven't got any gear that allows us to catch that. So we can't do that. Oh, there's another little kind of um, dock over here. Okay, can we, can we pull up to the dock? No, we can't even sort of explore this or anything. We can't, normally it comes up with saying like, you know, sort of... Uh, inspect or examine or what oh there you go oh we can dock ah okay we have to come in from that side okie doke a makeshift dock okay head over to the campsite next to the dock is a derelict campsite strange symbols are scratched into the sand what do you want to do um, okay inspect the symbols that seems like the most pertinent thing to do the symbols span the breadth of the camp yes yeah, these things here i think twisting this way and that some are grouped together into what must be words Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. The last symbol trails off hurriedly and looks unfinished. Okay. Inspect the last symbol more closely or inspect the footprints. It might be worth if somebody's here inspecting the footprints in case they come, you know, bash us on the head with a rock while we're looking at the symbols. Let's inspect the footprints. Whoever left the footprints was barefoot. The prints are large and wide, perhaps indicating they're left by a man. But you don't know much about footprints. Okay, inspect the last symbol more closely. A glint of metal shines up through the sand. A sapphire ring. Oh, that's quite fancy. You take it for yourself. Uh, yep, okay, we'll have that. That's good. Go back. Um, okay, search the campsite generally. An extremely rough and worn sheet of fabric is collapsed at the base of some wooden supports. There's nothing remarkable, uh, remarkable about it. Okay, yeah, that's it. We got, uh, we got a lovely piece of jewellery from that. Uh, we could, though go and invest our research part into the versatile rod. That still doesn't let us do any kind of abyss or... Oh, that's it up there. That's it there. It's some sort of great big kind of winch hook type thing. Abyssal and Hadal. And that's Abyssal, Hadal and Oceanic. Oh, okay. So we could... We could unlock that right now. It's one research part and we have one research part available. Um... Is it worth doing that? Is it worth doing that just there? It might be worth getting that, and then we can go and complete that sort of mission for the definitely not occultist, but in gold this time. 
Um, or do we put it toward getting a new versatile rod that means we can fish in volcanic and mangrove areas? Or do we go for that thing? I'm not quite sure. Where do we invest this? Do you know what? We're going to get that. We're going to put it into... We're going to put it into that. We can't invest it into that. Maybe we have to have that done. Maybe we need to get that done or something. Maybe we're not supposed to be able to catch these things yet. Maybe we sort of haven't learnt about what abyssal and hadal fishing is. Uh, do you know what then? It can go into the versatile rod. One more thing left. And then we'll go and replace our old rod with that one there. Because it's much better... And, uh, yeah, it can fish more areas. Okay, right. That was fun. Okay, so we've looked around these islands now. I can I feel like we've done those? Maybe we'll head to the north, uh, northwest. Go and look around those quick. Although I think we have looked at those before. And then we can head over to the Stellar Basin. So let's go to the northwest. Just kind of carefully reverse out. Beep, beep, beep. There we go. Right, northwest. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we came here before. That's where the, um the photographer's camera equipment was, wasn't it? Um, if we are going to... Oh, that's abyssal. Right, so we can't fish just there. We can't actually get just there. Okay, that's interesting. Right, okay. So abyssal must mean incredibly deep or something. Maybe it means really deep water. I'm not quite sure. Um, I mean, yeah, is that abyssal? That looks coastal to me. Uh, that is... Coastal. Yeah, it's whatever those things are. We'll just grab a fish on the way past. That's fine. It's another red snapper. Okay, delicious hearts they've got, apparently, so I'm told. Um, anything over there? Nothing on this island I don't think worthy of looking at, really. Nothing overly exciting. Uh, no. Some little fish over there, but that's okay. What are they? They are... Oh, again, the same sort of thing. Okay, that's fine. Right, we'll just, we'll just grab another one. I'm sure there'll be a place where we can sell these on. If not, they can just turn to some rot and that'll be not too much of a bother. Uh, get the thing out. That is... That's abyssal. Okay. It's all abyssal around here. There's a lot of abyssal stuff. There is some stuff to dredge over there to get some sort of materials. I keep pressing that button to come out of it. I keep pressing escape. No, it's just right-click again, Pen. Stop doing that. Um, if we head over here... We could, again, I am just keeping an eye on the time, but we could pick up some stuff here. Let's dredge whatever this might be. So it looks like a big old pile of metal, which is okay. We've gone through most of our metal anyway, so that's not too bad. We'll grab this. Of course, time is passing by as we do the dredging. We'll try and hurry it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Do we get another one of those or do we go and hide now? I think possibly hiding might be the best thing. Let's cut through the middle here. And I can see some lights over there. That looks like some sort of settlement. We're going to head right over there right now past all the lovely bioluminescent... Okay, what is that? What? No. 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 How about no? <laughs> How about... How about no? How about we don't go near the terrifying, gigantic, big Cthulhu monster? We're just going to go around the edge. Right. That's that's horrific, then. There's a giant, squiddy, monstery thing. Oh, and look, there's a red light thing showing us where one of the things is we're supposed to find. Right, there's a thing there. We're going to head toward that and, and just have a little cry. <laughs> Didn't like that at all. Didn't like that. Right, hello. We're just going to pull up over here. I don't know where we are, but it's it's a port in a storm and it'll do. The Starlight Pontoon. Oh, it's a fish market. It's the... Hang on. It's you. Oh, hello. Hey again. Come by for a chat. Oh, okay. You're just sort of over here now. Okay, I assume you're in many places. And it just kind of goes, do you know what? She's moved around and you found her and that's fine. What do you think of the Stella Basin? What beautiful crystalline water. It's a shame I can't take my boat too much further in. I've run aground on the coral a few times. Have you checked out the abandoned resort to the east? It's pretty impressive. There's probably some decent salvage to be had there. Have you seen the giant monster in the bottom of the sea there? Did you see that? It's kind of amazing how quickly it all falls to ruin without people around to maintain it. In a few years, these pontoons will probably go the same way. That's just the way of things, I guess. Um, okay, right. She does want us to find some rare fish, but that's quite difficult. Right, fish market. Um, okay. I mean, yeah, we've got some rotting fish. They're not worth much. We've got some fresh as well. Uh, 52 monies. That's better than nothing at all. That will do. Um, and we can now get to our storage. 
So if we can just go and put some things away in storage, that would be wonderful. So hang on. Try and sort our storage out a little bit better, please, because it's a bit of a mess. Right, there we go. Like that. Like that. Um, that. Oh, no, hang on. We want to keep the signet ring because it says there's such a symbol is sure to bring good luck to any captain that holds it. So I assume we're holding it because it's down in our hold. Um, we'll put the sapphire ring over there, though, and we'll put the bag of doubloons over here as well. Right, so that's nice and clear again. That is very good. Um, and I think that'll do. Where are we on the map? Uh, oh, we've gone right. Oh, I thought we were more kind of up here, but no, we've gone right through the middle. Oh, oh, hang on a second. Hang on. The, the thing, the thing we want to go and catch is, is where the big monster is. Well, of course it is. Um... Right, okay, hang on. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to have a bit of a rest and try and, you know, not have a bit of a mental breakdown because of the giant terrifying monster. Right. Okay. So now we can undock and we can have a little look around here a bit better. There's another thing over there. What's that? Okay, we might have put... We just crashed into an island. Hang on. Reverse back up. Hey! <laughs> Hi, how are you? How are you? You know you're good at fixing boats. We just possibly crashed into an island. Would you like to fix our boat? That'd be great. Um, 30 monies. There you go. Nobody needs to know anything about that. You didn't see anything, right? Okay, good. Um, we're going to go around here because it looks like just there, there's some fish there, but just here is another one of these weird rock. Oh, that's different to the other ones. Okay. Oh, it's a monster. It's a monster. It's a monster. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to go away. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. <laughs> There's too many frightening things around here. Right, where are we now then? So we are at the bottom of Stella Basin. Oh, that's the resort that the uh, person was talking about. Ah, okay. So we are currently blocked, but I think... Do we have some explosives? Okay, they're not on us right now, but we could go and get some. We could go and get some explosives and get rid of one of these barriers. Okay, do you know what? I think that's what we will do. We'll have a little trip back. Do you know what, actually? While we're here, we could do some fishing just to get some money. Just to you know, pay off the uh, damage, <laughs> pay off the repairs to the damaged boat there. Don't know how that happened. We just catch a few things. This will be quite good. And of course, it's all fresh. So fresh, it should sell quite well. And we are selling it for a little bit more than we were previously because we're now better at bargaining. We're a little bit better at that, 15% better prices. Let's just keep going. Let's catch all of this. Oh, it's a fancy one. And that is now depleted, but we have got a fancy fish. Uh, okay, yep, let's just come round. There is something over there. Hang on, can we catch that? That is, that's oceanic. Okay, we can catch that. What is that? I don't know what that is. This is a new thing. Uh, okay, we'll give it a go. A catch, catch. It's a hammerhead shark. Oh, and it's massive. Um, okay, right. That might possibly be about all we can fit in the boat. But that's okay. Right, don't go near that thing. <laughs> because, uh, cause, yeah, that isn't an interesting rock formation. That's a big terrifying monster that wants to eat our head. Come back around here. Where's the lovely pontoon thingamajig? Uh, where is the lovely pontoon? Oh, it's back there. Hang on. Reverse. Reverse. Come back around this way. And we'll just sort of spin it around like that. So, yeah, we've got some interesting stuff to sell you, which is quite nice. In fact, what are they just there? Can we fit any of those in the boat? Can we fit you in the boat? I'm having trouble navigating to these things. Stay, stay still, fish. There we go. Can we catch any of you? Oh, they look like they might be quite long. They look like they might be quite long. I'm not sure we can fit many in. Uh, no, it's a barracuda. Okay, we are catching some new things, though. New part of the world, catching some new things. We should, I think, make quite a bit of decent cash out of these hauls. So, uh, yeah, go to the fish market. And we can make 335 monies. Absolutely, yes, please. Okay, that was really good. And from our storage... Can we please take... I mean, there are... There's two bits that we could blow up from the explosives. So we could just go and get that done. We could go and get that done. However, over at the shipyard, looking at this, um, we could... We could invest in a research part 
290. So yeah, they're significantly cheaper now. They were 350, were they? We could buy that, and that will allow us to unlock the fancy new, uh, the fancy new rod. And then maybe we could get rid of that rod and put the posh rod in place. I think we do that. Let's get that. We'll have that. Okay, that's good. And then we can go to the research bit. Then we can go like that and unlock the versatile rod. It's now available in stores. So go to the shipyard again. How much is that? There is the versatile rod. It's 510 monies. But if we sell the flexible fishing pole, that gets us back 264 uh, monies 50, which is good. So that's going to pay off half of it pretty much. So I think, yeah, let's get rid of that. So get rid of the flexible fishing pole and then we will have the versatile rod. Fills up that entire thing. Five hours to get that installed. Crikey, how hard can it be to put a fishing rod in a boat? <laughs> Five hours? That's that's a bit weird. Okay, right, well, that's fine. So now we're down to 211 money, but we have now got the versatile rod. That's very, very good. Okay, so now we can fish coastal, shallow, mangrove, and volcanic waters, which I think is pretty much everything we can do with a rod. Um, but then, yeah, we need to get a new one of these now. So I think, uh, yeah, the hydraulic rod. Hang on, if we go to the research thing, does it look like we can now unlock this? Or is that still a thing that we haven't actually sort of uh, figured out how to do? Right, have a bit of a rest. Don't get eaten by the gigantic kind of Cthulhu monster. Undock. We'll head over in this direction because the resort thing is over there. It's very pretty around here. It's very lovely. Right, so if we go over here, look. Don't go near that giant hole there. Don't, don't go into the Stellar Basin because we will die. Um, yeah, if we head over here, look. Hang on. There's a sparkly thing. Inspect. The stone hums quite... Oh, it's a stone. It's a magical stone. Um, okay, place a hand on the stone. It does not respond to our touch. Yeah, that happens quite a lot. I'm not quite sure what we do with that. Right, let's get rid of this. So, loose debris, use explosives. Okie dokie, and it will go boom, and we can get through. So, then we go through here, look. We can grab that, and that's going to be a piece of the fancy, expensive metal stuff, isn't it? We need that for the slightly bigger, more complicated upgrades. So, we'll grab that. That is brilliant. And uh, where can we put that? Like that, look, and around that corner. And then, just for the sake of it, to make a little kind of cut through, because the, the explosives are quite cheap, we'll just blow that up as well. We'll just get rid of that one. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Right, so nice little kind of uh, through route now, which is wonderful. Um, and then, I think, we can come around this way. Yeah, that has seen better days, hasn't it? It looks quite nice on the beach. They've got, like, proper sort of, you know, lovely sort of uh, parasol type things. But, um... Yeah, it does look a little bit run down now. I think if we go in here, look, there's going to be all sorts of exciting goodies for us to grab. Is that a research part? That would be amazing. Okay, we're doing some good dredging today. Good, solid dredging going on. And yeah, it's a research part. They're relatively hard to come by, so that's quite good. And then there is something over here. That could be... There's loads of bits over here. Okay, we might spend some time over here doing lots of dredging because there is a lot to dredge. We can get some good materials, maybe do some more boat upgrades, bolt of cloth, we'll get another one. Okay, we're just going to go around here and grab all of these things, because there is something else around as well. There's some wood over to the sort of, uh, over to the left there. That looks like some wood. So we're just going to spend the rest of the day grabbing all these bits and bobs, but we're not going to leave it too late, because, you know, the giant Cthulhu monster type thing. Uh, right, that's all depleted. Let's maybe... Maybe we can get a few more of these. Uh, it looks like loads of wood around here. Right, let's just go and grab an awful lot of wood. Okay, so we picked up bits of wood and also another research part, which is very good indeed. That is very welcome. However, it is now quite late. So we're going to try and head back around to that lovely... Oh, hang on. Inspect. We'll do that in the morning. We'll do that in the morning. I'm too scared to do that now. Where's the... Well, no. We're out in the middle of nowhere and it's all a bit dark. The Starlight Pontoon is just around the back of here. Just keep going. Don't lose your mind. The lights are on. Look, your lights are on. They look lovely. Lovely, happy lights. Um, okay, just come around the corner. That's a terrifying monster. Don't go near the terrifying monster. And the pontoon is just around here on the left. I think I can see the lights. Okay. Right, hello. <laughs> hello, friend. Right, we're just going to pull in 
Maybe we'll crash into that island again. I don't know, but okie dokie. Right, so drop off all the things into storage. So yeah, let's pick that up, put that into there. That can go into there. Right, loads of wood. Absolutely loads of wood going on. Quite a bit of cloth as well, which is pretty good. And we yeah, get a bit of metal. That's good because that's quite hard to find. So we'll pop that into there. Um, and then, yeah, two research parts. I mean, what do we do with them? Do you know what we're going to do with that signet ring? We're going to put it in that little gap there near the fishing rod because that's just going to be fairly useless. So we'll tuck that into there and that kind of frees up that down there. So we could put something, you know, another bit of wood down there or something. But there we go. So that's kind of tucked into there. I don't think we need the rot. I think we can possibly get rid of the rot. That can go away. Um, right. Okay, so now I think it is quite late, but we can look at doing some research stuff. Can we unlock that now? No, we can't unlock that. We have got a harvesting platform. That's five research paths. A combination of cutting edge fishing technology allows this industrial grade unit to operate at peak efficiency, coastal, shallow and oceanic. Um, however, we don't really want to do anything with that. Um, refined outboard engine. It's a bit big. I prefer the little jet drive ones. Um, we don't know what they do. We're going to have to unlock these at some point. Pots. We could get some. We could unlock the efficient crab pot and the large crab pot. Or do we think maybe about going down the route of nets? How do we fish the other... How do we get the other stuff from? How do we do the other things? Um... Yeah, the sort of whatever it is, the abyssal. It, we have to get that. But we can't unlock that. I'm not quite sure how we get that. Maybe that's got to be... We've got to find somebody. We've got to find somebody. Right, go to bed. There was a little kind of shack on the other side of this island. So we'll go and have a look at the shack. So let's just sort of head round this way. We kind of went past you. There was a little boat just on its own, wasn't there, round the corner. So we'll go past the terrifying monster in disguise. But by now, we're not going to go near you. Uh, it was round here. I think it was on its own on this side, wasn't it? Was it round there? Oh, where was it? Was it that one? It might have been that one on its own, possibly. Why is this interesting? Yeah, it's got sparkly bits around it. Hello, inspect. There is a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Occasionally, it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. Its technique is ineffective. Oh, look! It's actually on the map. It's there. It's right there. Hello, little dog friend. Um... Okay, so we can ignore the dog, or we can disembark. Okay, please be a good dog. Don't bite us. You jump off the boat into thigh-high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you. Okay, so pat the dog, slowly approach, call for the dog, throw some fish toward the dog. It is trying to catch the fish, so it might make sense to throw some fish toward the dog. And maybe that'll be like a peace offering. Okay, chuck some fish toward the dog. You throw some scraps into the water near the dog. It pounces at the splash and swallows seawater. Uh, okay, slowly approach. You wait toward the shore. As you get nearer, the dog backs up a little ways. It sits. Okay, call for the dog. You make soft, encouraging noises and the dog cautiously approaches. It stops just out of your reach. Um, okay, hold out some fish in our hand. That's a different option. Maybe now it's a bit more calm. We can hold out some fish in our hand and it will eat it. And then if it gets food, it might like us. Let's give that a go. You hold out some fish scraps in the palm of your hand. The dog approaches slowly, but soon begins licking at them. Oh, pat the dog. You reach out and gently pat the dog. Its eyes follow your hand and it seems to understand you're not a threat. Okay, pat the dog again. You pat the dog again. It seems to be enjoying it. Pat the dog. You pat the dog again. It seems, but we're just going to keep patting the dog until something changes. <laughs> okay, so nothing happens. We can just pat the dog and then leave. You make your way back toward the boat. As you're wading out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts its head questioningly. Let it follow us. You continue, this time with the dog alongside. Its tail is wagging so hard, it beats the water into a froth behind it. Oh, we've got a new friend. We've got a dog friend. It's Pat the dog. We're going to call you Pat the dog. When you get to the boat, you turn around to pull the dog on board. Okay, a stray dog. It's curled up, asleep, opening an eye occasionally to watch you move around the boat. Okay, <laughs> so we'll pop the dog up by the lightler. You lift the dog onto the deck. It walks around briefly before curling into a ball and looking up at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. Okay, so we've got a little kind of dog friend on board now. 
Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's quite nice. All right, hang on. We're going to just go and do this. Let's dredge some more bits and bobs whilst we're going past, because we might as well. Let's grab all this. Might be another research part in here. Who knows? Okay, no research parts, just some more wood, but that's okay. That's always helpful. Right, where do we go from here? Where do we go? There is some sort of thing over there. So if we just kind of go around here, go around the edge of the Stellar Basin. Don't go into the Stellar Basin. Yeah, there's a thing there. We did sort of go near this last time, but we didn't kind of, um, we didn't actually pull up at it, I don't think. There is something here that we could get. Oh, okay. Yeah, if it's this quick, it normally is a research part. That looks like the shape of a research part. That's very quick. And it is a third research part. We are stocking up on those. Um, okay, is there anything over there? There's some more bits over here. What's that? That is, oh, that's some lovely shinies that we can sell for a bit of money. Just haul these up out of the water. That is some broken spectacles. It's not exactly what I was hoping for, but never mind. Right, if we pull up here, there's another boat. You don't see many of the boats. I mean, we're the only boat that kind of moves around on the water. There are other boats, but they're generally fixed to like pontoons and things. What if we pull up here? There's a little kind of radio tower thing. Okay, a research outpost. Okay, I mean, let's head to the lab. I imagine the lab is going to be where people are. The generators is going to carry on doing generating. The people are going to be in the lab. Let's go and have a chat with whoever might be here. The lab is in ruins, with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Oh, there's nobody here. Oh, bother. Um, okay. And let us begin by opening the cupboards. Let's go through all their things. You check the cupboards. Another research part. Okay, you empty the cupboards. Where do you want to look? Um, look around on the floor. You look around on the floor. There are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you follow them along to the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. Bad idea. Bad, good idea. Got five research parts. You pluck an item from the gouge in the floor. Where do you want to look? Um, okay, equipment on the table. There are some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, not safe, expect, expect retaliation imminently, evacuating to fort. Okay, where do you want to look? That's a bit ominous, right? Leave the lab, go to the generator. An old generator sputters and ticks over. Right, okay. We have now got many research parts, but I kind of feel like I want to get that thing, but I don't know how to unlock that thing. We've got five of them now, but we need that. We're going to need that thing. Uh, okay, undock. There is something over there. So if we kind of head over in, I think, that direction. I can see the things under the water. <laughs> I don't like it. We haven't got to go over there, have we? We have got to go in that direction. Hang on, maybe some more that direction. Oh, there's a thing. Is that the fort? That might well be the fort. What's that? Why is that bubbling there? Oh, look, we've got to go into the middle of that. We're going to get killed if we go into the middle of that. Let's be honest. We're going to get eaten by the giant big Cthulhu monster. Let's go over in this. There's a big tentacle thing. We just went over a giant tentacle. No, I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy. Oh, however... I am happy with that. That is another message in a bottle. Grab that as we go past. Yes, please. Um, okay, we'll see where that fits in sort of the chronology of things. Um, can we grab this? No, that is abyssal. Right, so we can't fish that. Okay, big kind of castle fort thing. What's going on in the big castle fort thing? Hello. Hi. We found a load of your research parts, but we're going to keep them. Uh, okay. There's an old fortress. It's got a big kind of sort of uh, satellite dish transmitter type thing on it. It's got, I don't know if that's some sort of like viewing binoculars or, I don't know, shooty gun type thing. But there is a researcher and they've got a wibbly thing on them. Hello, researcher. Oh, um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? Uh, I'm a fisherman. I'm going to be truthful. Ah, yes, I thought you had the look. But a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help. If you had the time, I thought you might need something from us. What do you need help with? I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost on the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. Was it attacked by the giant big kind of tentacle monster? A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the centre of the basin. 
I fled here and have been making do as best I can, but had to leave most of my equipment behind, so now my research has come to a halt. About that equipment, we've brought some of it with us, but we're going to use it for ourselves, sorry. Take a look at the list of specimens I need, please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect all of them. Okay, a glowing octopus, so that's from the shallows, an aurora jellyfish, and a firefly squid. So, oh, oh, okay, the glowing octopus can be caught via our fishing rod, or a pot by the look of it, like a crab pot type thing. The firefly squid is the hook and a net, and the aurora jellyfish is just a net. Oh, okay, so maybe at the moment we get rid of the hydraulic rod and we invest in a net. Is there anything else? Um, this dog needs a home. Would do you want it? About the specimen is telling about yourself. What kind of creature attacked you? Have you noticed anything that was unusual? Um, what sort of creature attacked you? Well, I got the sense that it was attacking the research outpost itself, rather than me specifically. I suspect it was disturbed by some of my monetary equipment. There were dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It was huge, larger than any of the marine species I've studied. It attacked with tentacles, so I guess it's some sort of octopus or squid. Or an anemone. Yay, the word that anemone. The word that nobody can really say properly. One of my research vessels was moored around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away in it while it was tearing apart the front. There was a lot of valuable data and equipment left there, but I'm not going back. I can't. I won't face it again. No, that's quite wise. Um, Anything else weird? Now that you mention it, I've been so preoccupied with the attack and having to rebuild here, I'd almost forgotten. I found these letters from my sister. She sent them to me while I was studying before... before she... The researcher is quiet for a moment and stares off to the side. Anyway, I kept finding them in my papers. I don't remember packing them, but I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They turned up in my collection nets, in my sampling tubes. They were letters I'd never seen before, but they were in her writing. They were in her name. They were saying things, talking about things that happened after she died. I can't explain it. Okay, that's a bit weird. Tell me about yourself. Uh, okay, I don't think there's much to say. I studied biological sciences at Ironhaven College. It was a struggle. There were no other female students in the department that year, or the year before, or the year before that. Well, there you go, you're a trendsetter. You can sort of, you know, pave the way forward for amazing stuff. It's hard not to feel like an outsider in an environment like that, you know? You probably don't. When I graduated, I managed to land a job at the Northern Biological Research Society. And then, well, I was posted here, by myself. I thought I would relish the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone, or at least a pet. Out here, it's just machines. Is there anything else? Well, I've got an offer for you. This dog needs a home. Do you want it? I found a dog, and it was all on its own. Would you like a dog? A dog? Oh, gosh. Let me see. The dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to the pet to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. I could definitely take this one off your hands, and I'd love the company. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. You look after the dog. A boat isn't really a home for a dog, I wouldn't think. You can have the dog. The dog is removed. Oh, look! The dog's appeared. Hello, Pat the dog. Yes, thank you. We're going to be such good friends. He can be my assistant. Suddenly, the dog stands upright and begins to retch, its stomach heaving. Oh no, don't explode. Whatever. Seconds later, it vomits a wet glob onto the floor. Something glistens through the mucus. Oh, um, that's interesting. I suppose that's yours, if you want it. Another sapphire ring. Okay, took that into that gap. I can clean the rest up. Don't worry about it. Okay, a bit grim. Hopefully we polish the sapphire ring off. Right, I think what we have to do is we need to help the researcher... And the researcher wants three different types of fish. And then, when we've done that, they're going to give us the secrets of how to unlock the deep digging stuff. The deep uh, dredging stuff. So we can go into the middle of there and get the thing out for the collector. Because at the moment, I bet we can't do that. In fact, hang on. It is... Oh, it's a bit late. It's a little bit late, isn't it? Yeah, we still can't unlock that thing, which is a bit of a shame. We could, in theory, unlock that entire thing if we wanted to. But a net. We are going to have to maybe work on getting a decent net. So what did she want for the thing again? Um, hang on a second. So go to pursuits. Uh, right. Where are we? Collect all the samples. So a glowing octopus, a firefly squid and an aurora jellyfish. But where was the aurora jellyfish? Researcher, remind me about the things you want. Um, 
yeah, so coastal, 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 coastal and shallows. So that one there is coastal with a net. Right, so we need to make sure that we have a net that can catch coastal things. Right, that one, an improved trawl net. Yeah, so if we have that look, we'll take that improved trawl net now available in stores. So we can go and buy a lovely improved trawl net. Um, and we've got four left. That is for mangrove and shallows. That's for volcanic and coastal. And we could, in theory, get those done. We could get those done, but I kind of feel like we need to keep something behind for that. I feel like that's going to be really important. Um, that is a large trawl net. Extended support poles give this net an impressive potential capacity without compromising on mesh quality. That's just coastal. That is coastal and shallows. Oh, okay. We could get that done. We could get the large trawl net, coastal and shallows. Do you know what? Let's treat ourselves. Let's do that look. So now we can get that. The only thing is I think we might then need to get some more net space. So how much money have we got? We've got only 211 money. It's not that much money right now. So I think we'll head back around to the to the little sort of uh, the floaty pontoon. There's a proper like fortress type thing over there. That's quite good. I think the pontoon is over there, isn't it? I can just see the lights. I think that's it round the... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, where? Oh, okay, right. This might be a problem. Can we catch that? I bet we can't catch that. Oh, we can. It is... Oh, is that one of the things we need? It's, it's a firefly squid. That's one of the things that she wants. Okay, that's quite good. That's good to know. We'll catch a few of these as we go. Right, grab you and grab you. Okay, just keep picking them up while we're here. No kind of fancy ones, no yellow ones. Okay, that's all depleted. But I think... We can go back over here and we'll just, I mean, the fish are going to go off, but that's okay. That is a risk that we will take. Weird things are happening. <laughs> Don't like the weird things, but we've found one of the things you want. We found a thing. Hang on. We're going to pull up to the, pull up to the dock and we can give you a thing. Right. Researcher. About those specimens. Uh, right. You can have a firefly squid. That can go into there. That's absolutely fine. Now, here's the thing. Do we... We could just drive around. We need to find a glowing octopus. Um, is there anything else? Not right now. Not right now. We could try to make our way back to there. Although it is a bit dark and it might be a bit scary. But then we can sell those fish on. Have a bit of a sleep. And then we can get all these stuff done onto the boat down there. Or we could just go to bed now. We're going to... There's a potential for a thing there. As potential for an exciting aberration. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. There's a there's a ghost boat. There's a ghost boat. Do, is it attached to a terrifier? Is it attached to a fish monster? Is it attached to a fish monster? Uh, we're going to go into the dock. We're docking. The fish monster can't get us if it is. Okay, we can't see. I can't turn the camera around. We're just going to go to bed. <laughs> Good night. There we go. Lovely night's sleep. We'll have a chat with the researcher. Everything is fine. Now we can undock, and um, yeah, I, I, I didn't like that much. I didn't like that much. That was a bit scary. Right, they're abyssal. They're abyssal things, so we can't catch them just yet. Uh, yeah, let's I don't know, pick up some stuff as we go by. Can we get you if we're going past? But yeah, that's one of the massive sharks, isn't it? We'll try and get you, although we do need to do some rejigging of our stuff. Hang on a moment. There we go. Right, pop you into... Okay, this is this is going to be trickier than I thought it was going to be. Right, hang on, put those there and then bring that in like that. Yay, perfect. And we'll tuck those in like that, look. And then we've got room for something down there. Um, that might be about all we can fit on the boat for now. So let's make our way round. Oh, there's something there. Are you an actual shipwreck or are you another terrifying monster? That might be a shipwreck. Okay, do you know what? We'll come back to that in a bit. We're just going to go back to our friendly pontoon and just sell some stuff on. We'll pop back to that after we've sold these fish on. Okay, hello, hello, go to the fish market. Here we go. Can we sell it for 233 money? That's much better. And then, if we could, can we go to the floating dock? Can we get two more net spaces? I think we can. I think, yeah, we've got wood right there just in the boat itself. That's absolutely fine. Um... Oh yeah, we've got those broken specks, haven't we? That aren't doing anything. They've got what they've got weird writing on. 
They've got weird symbols on them. They... Oh, no, right, it's over a net thing. Okay. <laughs> that was... I was like, what on earth is that? But no, they're over a kind of a net picture. That's what we're going to get to uh, to be upgraded. Uh, and then, put two bits of that in, like so. Purchase the upgrade. So now we can have two more net spaces. Then we need to go to the shipyard. So installing a Toronet is a great way to earn some passive income. So go to here... We could get that, but it's 340 money to get a large trawl net, which would fit into there. And that will help us catch something. One of the things that we need to catch. I think that's what we try and do today. Just try and catch those things for the researcher and see if we can just you know, move things on a bit around here. Um, however, we need some more cash. We do need some more money. Uh, have we got anything we can put in here for now? Yep, absolutely store that over there. That's good. And the research part can go over as well for now. We don't want to get hit and lose that or whatever. So there we go. That'll do for the moment. I think now we just have to go out and do some fishing. But we will also go and check what that thing was over there. What are these? Can we grab these while we're here? Um, oh, okay. Are they barracuda things? Is that what they were? Uh, yeah, they're quite big, aren't they? They're quite big. They're quite long. Okay, took that in. Okay, we'll grab some of these. We'll grab some fish. And then we're going to go... Okay, that looks horrific. That's a savage barracuda. It thrashes about ruinously, jaws snapping and tearing its own flesh apart, a body sundered by ravenous hatred. Okay, right, right. Don't, don't go too near that one. Don't invite that round to parties. Oh, crikey. We've got loads out of here. There are many of these. I mean, we might as well sell them on right now. I was going to do some more fishing, but we've literally picked them up from pretty much opposite the pontoon. Let's go and sell these. So, hello, we're back again. Hi, just caught some fish right in front of you. Um, yeah, 231 money is absolutely brilliant, yes. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll head round to the, um, to that, whatever that thing was round here. There was a wreck of some sort. Dodge the lightning. So we'll go and do that. Can we catch anything over here whilst we're here? Is that worth getting? Oh, hang on. If we wait for the yellow one, we can get a fancy one. We've got ourselves... A prize barracuda. Okay, this is good. We'll just grab another one of these. Um, yeah, let's go and see what that wreckage is all about. Let's go and see what we can get from that old kind of destroyed boat. Okay, inspect the wreckage over there. Waves lap at a pile of flotsam collecting on the beach. Nestled in the centre is a wooden chest. Absolutely look inside. It's got... Okay. Sapphire earrings. I can see what they are. Some more doubloons. We've got much in the way of doubloons. And a large scrap of paper. A large scrap of paper with some shapes drawn on it in one corner is a compass symbol. Okay, it's part of a map, I would say. It's part of a treasure map. I imagine we're going to have to try and work out where the treasure is. There's going to be some secret treasure hidden somewhere, and we can try and work out where it might be. Okay, that's quite fun. It's getting a bit late. If we could just grab a few quick fish to sell on when we go back, that would be quite good. However... Also, just there, I noticed there is some stuff we could dredge as a um, as wood or something. Some sort of important kind of resource thing which would be useful. So, we'll try and grab all this. We're not too far away from the pontoon. So, we can always kind of run back there if we need to. We're not that far off, I don't think. Yeah, if we just grab this, look. Bits of wood. Useful. Nice big bits of wood. Let's get these out from under the water. We've picked up another research part. We've got another one of these. I mean, the boat is now very full. It's very full. We can't fit another bit of wood in. There's simply no room for it. But that's okay. We will take a research part. That's quite exciting. Something exciting just there as well. But I don't think we can get this. I don't think. Have we got room it might be okay what well, we'll just grab a squid we'll grab a squid if it's a, a weird one then we'll get the weird one no okay just a regular ordinary firefly squid okay we can see where the pontoon is through the gloom through the rain it's a bit of a grim day british summertime day again so let's go along there what there's a oh, there's a one of those jellyfish is over there well there's jellyfish we have to catch a jellyfish there's a boat there don't crash into the boat there we go that's what we wanted to do Right, so go to the fish market, sell all of that on for another 145 money. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, that can go into storage, as can that, as can that, as can that, as can the big kind of sort of uh, map type thing. And that. Okay, now I think what we'll do is, um, is it worth trying to get the, hang on, what do we need for those things again? One of them we could catch with a line. So one we could catch with a line. 
So if we undock, even though it is quite late, can we try and catch... There was something over there. Yeah, like that. Look over there. Can we go and catch you with a line? Are we allowed? No. I think... Oh, okay. We, we crashed into you. And then you exploded. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. We're, we're just going to go to bed. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have a lovely night's sleep. I mean, not much of a night's sleep now, but let's go to bed and just, you know, have a bit of shut eye. Right, brand new day. Can we afford the net thingamajig? Can we afford one of those? So let's maybe check out the shipyard, isn't it? That's where it would be. So, um, yeah, go to nets. So I think we can uninstall that. So take that out. We can put that in because we can afford that now. So if we just remove that for now and put that into... Uh, oh, put it into storage. So store that away. And then we will have one of those, please. Six hours to get that installed. That makes a bit more sense. Right. Ability unlocked. Troll net. Passively caches fish over time while it's deployed. Okay. This is going to be interesting because we've not done this before. So how does that work? Select the troll net ability with E and lower it with right click. Oh, right. Okay. It's like one of these. Oh, there's camera mode. There's camera mode. I looked for that last time. Right, there's the net. So if we then just sort of go over here and just give this a bit of a trial run. So we drop the net and then we just sort of pootle about the place. So we just go around over here and we kind of go over here. Right, we are catching things. Look, we can see that we've caught one thing. It says on the left, we've caught a fish of some description. So we just kind of just keep going around, do we? I mean, okay, hang on, hang on. There's some goodies here. There are some goodies there. We'll, oh, crikey, that's moving very quickly. Uh, yeah, we'll grab these lovely goodies here. Because, again, these are going to make some good money, hopefully. I can't quite recall what we needed. That's another sapphire ring. There's loads of those around here. Much in the way of sapphire rings. Um, yep, yeah, okay, right. Grab some stuff from here as well. Okay, this has been very, very good to dredge. Because we found a bit of wood. And then we found two research parts in a row. That's absolutely fantastic. Can we get another one? Is it going to be a third or is it going to be a boring old bit of wood? It's just a bit of wood. It is getting quite late because, of course, yeah, we spent six hours installing our kind of net thingamajig. But can we just grab the final thing? Yes, we can. OK, so I think we can sort of head. Uh, hang on. Is that the pontoon? Is that the thing in front of us? Of course, we don't go straight over because that would be silly. Yeah, that's a starlight pontoon. We're going to head around the edge so we don't die. Let's just go calmly and slowly around the edge. The net is still deployed. Aurora jellyfish. Oh, hang on. That's that's what the lady wanted, wasn't it? That's what the researcher person wanted. Does she not want one of those? I'm fairly certain that's what it was. Right, hang on. Pull up into the dock for now. Don't sell all of those fish. Uh, go to the fish market. We'll sell some, but not everything. Um, how do we... Oh, how do we get stuff out of the net? How do we? How do we do that? Do we need to bring uh, undock? Do we then press uh, right click again to bring it in? Ah, there we go. We bring that in. And then I imagine we've got the fish on board. Uh, no. Oh, net. There's a net option. Okay, an Aurora jellyfish and a red snapper. Okay, so Aurora jellyfish is what the lady wants, what the researcher wants. But we can go and sell that if we want to. Right, you are. Right, back into the dock then. Go to the fish market. And yeah, net. Okay, right. There we go. We know that's a thing now. So sell that for a tiny bit of money. That's fine. And then, uh, yeah, go back to our storage. So store all of these. We might need to do some upgrades. We might need to do some upgrades. We've, we've dredged quite a lot. And we have many things. Uh, okay, where can we store all this stuff? Put that down there somewhere. Uh, and we've got those specs as well got the broken specs okay we need to we need to invest in some upgrades particularly ones that involve wood and possibly big bits of metal because they're taking up way too much room uh, i think though for now go and have in fact you know what let's have a look actually what can we have so um what is that bit of cloth bit of metal three bits of wood two more rod spaces uh two bits of wood and two metal is another light space 75 minutes do you know what we'll do that we will have that actually so two bits of wood Bit of wood, bit of wood, and the two bits of metal we've got can go down there. Purchase that upgrade, and there we go. We can have one more little sort of uh, light on board if we want to. And then that's four more cargo spaces. That is, yeah, three bits of metal which we don't have. Or 
two more rod spaces. We're going to need to get these done anyway. So how about... That's 120 money. That's 300 money. But I think that's going to be more useful. So what we could do is we could just load this up. So we're going to preload it with all these different bits. And then when we pick up the other stuff, we can just drop it in here as well. Yeah, okay, that'll do. That kind of tidies that up a little bit. We do need to go back to the jeweler at some point and say, look, we've got all these kind of random shiny trinkets for you. Would you like to buy them from us, please? Because we have got quite a lot now. But uh, yeah, okay, that's good. So we've invested a little bit in getting some more cargo space. I think now we go to bed, have a bit of a rest. This is all fine. And then in the morning, we'll go back to the uh, big kind of fortress thingamajig. And we'll drop off the jellyfish. Okay, hello researcher, how are you? We've got another thing you wanted. So I think it's that one, an Aurora jellyfish. So we'll have one of those in there. So what's the last one? A glowing octopus. So either we need to catch that with our fishing rod, or we can put down like a crab pot type thing. I think it might be worth using a crab pot for that. Let's undock from here, head back to the, um, to the pontoon. And I think from there we can buy a crab pot or two. So we might buy a couple of those and then just kind of drop them around here somewhere and just see if we can catch anything. Hang on, where's where's everything gone? Which Hang on, am I going off into the middle of nowhere? I am going off into the middle of nowhere. No, not, not like that. That's going to be a terrible idea. We want to go this way toward where there are things. There we go, that's much better. And on the way back, if we can catch some fish, then we might as well because then we can sell them and get a bit of money to pay for the crab pots we need. Oh, we found a new fish, a coral grouper. Well, they're quite colourful. They're exciting things. Look at that. They've got all sorts of dots on them. That's quite exciting. I guess we're a new fish. Not a bad thing, I suppose, to kind of happen across. Oh, and they kind of slot together quite well. That's quite good. Right, let's just carry on doing some fishing. Okay, back at the pontoon. Let's sell the fish on because we might as well. 216 money from those ones. And then the net's also been cleared out as well. Okay, so when you go to sell all fish, it sells ones in the net. We did have a few in the net as well. So, right, back up to about 450 monies which is not too bad. Now, can we buy some of these? So a hardy crab pot. In fact, hang on a second, hang on. The thing that we need to actually catch is like a big octopus type thing. So can we maybe unlock the large crab pot to maybe catch bigger things possibly? I think we can spend all of one research part on that. Buy one of those. Do you know what? Shall we just unlock as well the efficient crab pot? just for the sake of completeness, just to get the first kind of crab pots done. There we go. So the first things there are done. The first, I mean, most of the engines are done. That's done, that's done. The rods are looking pretty good. And we're going to uncover the secrets of that at some point soonish, maybe. Um, yeah, now we can buy a large crab pot. Or we could buy an efficient crab pot. It's going to be more effective at catching things. Two to three per day, as opposed to maybe around two per day. But that can hold more. Maybe we go for the efficient one. Let's go for the efficient crab pots. Whereabouts are the crab pots again? Um, you did. Whereabouts are the crab pots? Hang on, oh, they're in the fishing bit. Hang on, you have to go to the fish market for that. There we go. Um, yeah, an efficient crab pot. 127 monies. We will definitely take one of those. And then do we just get a large one as well? Just for fun. There you go. Do you know what? Yeah, we'll have both of those. And then we shall go and drop those off in the sea. Um, I don't really know where the best place is for us to put those. Hang on. Let's lift the net back up. So lift the net up so it's not going to wear out quite as quickly. And then if we then go to crab pots. So if we go to... There's plenty just there, it says. Plenty of crabs. So if we drop one there. Okay, so that's the efficient one. And then if we go to... I'm not going too near the middle because it's terrifying. If we go to there and drop the other one, and then we just kind of hang around for a bit, that should hopefully be okay. I mean, for now, we could just go and do some regular fishing and just get some more money. That's what we'll do. We need to wait for the crab pots to kind of stock up. So, yep, okay, right, let's go and do some fishing. And we'll try and just get a little bit more than 188 money. So let's just try and top that back up a little bit. Okay, we've got a spiny lobster in that crab pot. 
Okay, that's quite exciting. We will take that out. That's a good thing. Uh, we might stop by here and just do a bit of fishing, although there is a big kind of terrifying tentacle thing to say. We'll have the fancy one. Thank you. Um, yep. Okay. So like a trophy coral grouper. Let's grab this one if we can. How many are there around here? Uh, oh, a consumed grouper. Once dazzling skin, now bleached and eroded, it barely resists, relieved at a final end. Oh, it's like a sort of weird skeleton fish. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Okay, and we'll have that one. I don't think we can fit another one in. Um, okay, right, let's head back then. We're going to head back to here. There's just a lot of kind of to and fro at the minute as we wait to catch the big octopus thing that we need to catch. So if we just pull up at this and then we can just sell those things on. No need to keep those. Go to the fish market. Um, yeah, okay, sell that for a huge amount of money. That's quite good. And then... We'll go and check the other crab pot, because it has been there overnight. A little bit scared about going toward this one, because there is the giant monster under the waves that, that we can clearly see. It's it's the glowing octopus. That's what the researcher person wanted. Okay, right. Take that over to them immediately. And while we're going along, we might as well drop our net. And then we can catch some stuff as we're just sort of pootling around, doing our regular kind of you know, errands and helping people out. We might all go over there and just, you know, catch some fish on the way. Hello, researcher. We found the thing you wanted. It's very exciting. Okay, about the specimens. And, um, yeah, a glowing octopus. We've got one. We've got one. Thank you. Looks like you've got all the surface specimens I need. But, ah, yes, I also do need some from deeper down. But that's going to be a problem. It is going to be a problem, isn't it? Because we can't catch things at a great depth say, abyssal depth, or even hadal depth, whatever that is. Uh, maybe you could help us out with that. Why is that a problem? I don't have the equipment to catch anything deeper anyway. Well, say, why is that a problem? Because she might just say something else, but I think that's the, uh, that's the issue, isn't it? I developed a device to retrieve samples from the abyssal zone. This was over in the other research outpost before the attack. I have an idea of how to keep the creature at bay long enough to collect these samples, but while I work on that, I need you to retrieve some prototype parts. Carefully. I suggest you go during the day. I wouldn't want to be out on the reef at night. No, we did that and it was terrifying. Is there anything else? Okay, no. But now we need to head over and pick up the prototype parts. Is is that correct? So from the old research outpost. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, it's daytime now. Let's go and do that right now, I suppose. We can do that at the minute. We should be okay. It's only kind of over in... Um, Hang on, which direction is it? That's where the thing is. I keep going the wrong way from there. It's over there. I think we can see. Yeah, it's got the kind of sticky up radio tower thing. So, right, we'll head over there and grab these prototype bits and bobs that she wants. Okay, there we go. Back at the lab. We've had a look around and we found the prototype parts. I think we did kind of happen across them before, but we didn't know what they were. So, absolutely, we will take that. That is good. We stowed them away. And that's kind of it. We've done everything else around here. So now let's take them back to the researcher. And I imagine she's going to say, yep, you can now use that to make a, oh, I've crashed a bit, to make an exciting thing that can you know, allow you to dig, not dig, dredge at greater depths. That's what I think is going to happen. But uh, yeah, okay, let's get back and find out. And we just caught another fish as well in the net, which is wonderful. Okay, we're back. We've done your fetch quest. Don't worry, we've got the prototype parts. There you go. Excellent. Let me assemble a device for you. This should allow you to catch specimens from much greater depths. It's a little slow, but you may be able to make some improvements. Okay, so a sampling device. Okie doke. So now we need to install that. So it's a custom design from the researcher. It's inefficient. Okay, so only 11% fishing speed boost, but it should allow me to harvest some samples from the depths. Right. So at the moment, we can't install that. So we're going to have to... Oh, we're going to have to uninstall our net. That's a bit of a nuisance. Right, so put that into storage for now. Now, I've developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking or enrage it. I'm not sure. If you could be sure about that, that'd be great, because they're two very different things. Deterring it or enraging it are two very distinctly different things. Um, okay, connect it to the research outpost generator. You have to return and re-engage it every few hours. But other than that, it's completely automated. Okay, so can we just store that away for now in there? Great. Now take a look at the list of specimens. Remember, you'll want to install and activate the machine before attempting to collect these. You might also need to improve that equipment I gave you to catch some of these. Right. So Hadal, Abyssal, Abyssal, and Hadal. Okay. So I think now 
Uh, okay, that th these are good. So snailfish, anglerfish, giant amphipod, and a loose jaw. What I might do is, because there's no kind of quick way of coming back to look at this, I might take a quick picture of their outlines on my phone. Yeah, you see, clever stuff. And then I can refer back to that. I can look at that and go, ah, yeah, it's one of those. It looks like that kind of outline. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So two are abyssal, which we can do with that thing she gave us, but two are hadal, which we can't do. Um, is there anything else? Not right now, but I think we now head back. Why is that wibbling on and off? Oh, we can now get that. Okay, so spend the research part on that. Um, okay, I think we have to fit it to the boat first. Right, let's go back to the um, go back to the little pontoon. And we'll get the clever person over there to go and fit the new sort of uh, big deep dredging tool for us. Okay, back at the pontoon. So first things first, go and sell all the fish because we have got a few fish in the net. Um, it's just some red snappers, but you know what? It's 60 money. That's not too bad. And then can you please... Oh yeah, we should go and check the crab pots actually. Um, can we do some rejigging of things? Can we do some stuff over here? So we're going to need to take out the large troll net, which is a bit of a shame. So we need to uninstall that, and then we need to install uh, wherever the, that thing. We need to kind of do that. We need to install this thing, the sampling device. But yeah, it's got to go, I think, here, hasn't it? It's got to go into there. So can we put that into cargo? No, it's got to go over there. Look, right, okay, hang on then. So get rid of this. So uninstall that. Uh, yeah, so we'll install that and just put it oh, into storage and then go into storage and then put that into cargo and install that for three hours. Crikey. Okay, so put that in. So now that's installed. Okay, so now with that in, can we then go to here? Right, we can now upgrade that to bottomless lines. Okay, so an improvement on the sampling device. This should at least operate at a reasonable speed. So yeah, from 11% it was up to 38%. And that can catch both the Abyssal and the Hadal stuff, whatever that means. Right, so there we go. That's now done. And what's that? A fathomless winch. Oh, that's what we want. So that can cover the ocean stuff and also Abyssal and Hadal. And it's a really, really quick thing as well. Do you know what? We're going to work toward that. We're going to invest a point into that. And there we go. No more research parts, but I think we can get that fairly quickly. Um, have we now got, have we got the bottomless line? Or do we need to buy the bottomless line? Is that another thing we now need to buy? Yeah, so we've got that thing. How much is the bottomless line? 382 monies, but we are going to need one because we need to catch the Hadal stuff. So, do you know what? Okay, uninstall this. <laughs> uninstall that and put that into storage. And we'll buy one of these, and we'll put that in there, and uh, install four hours. Oh, there you go. Right, install that for four hours. I'm sorry, I'm keeping you up very late. I do apologise. And now, we've got a fancy new thing, which means we can go and dredge out you know, fish and whatever at greater depths. So I think with that done... Oh, no, hang on. I know what we need to do. I realised this. I kind of completely forgot about this. We picked up a new message. So... Okay, March the 7th, 1927. Oh, that's before all this happened. This is way before any of this. So this is where they're sort of on their honeymoon. That one there is saying, we're engaged to be married. Okay, right, what's the full story? We are engaged to be married. He sailed us out to the very centre of Stella Basin to see the lights. I mean, yeah, you wouldn't do that now unless you wanted to also see the lights and then be a bit dead. We talked for hours, something we have not done in such a long time, waiting and hoping. Sometime past midnight, as we were growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep, the aurora shimmered into the skies above. When I turned to see his reaction, he was already down on one knee. What a charmer. I cannot even remember what he said, or what I said, but I know that I said yes. The ring is beautiful, with a span of jewels going right the way around. I cannot take my eyes off it. P.S. I was not sure whether to write this under yesterday's date or today's, given that it occurred at the conjunction of days but I feel that news is significant enough to warrant spanning multiple entries. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. You got engaged. That's exciting. Okay, so now we've got a bit more of that timeline. So engaged, and then at this point in August, so March, what's that? April, May, June, July, August. So about five months' time, they got married and they're on their honeymoon. Okay. Uh, oh, seven out of 12. Oh, 
we can see how many messages there are in the game. We've only got five more to pick up. Oh, that's quite fun. That's quite good. At least you kind of have a context of how near you are to completing this timeline. Okay, that's quite good to know. And now, with that done, I think we will wrap things up for the moment. I think we have done quite a lot today. We've done a great deal of things. And now we've got the ability to go dredging and fishing a little bit deeper in the Abyssal and Hadal depths, which is going to be very exciting. So I think that's what we do next time. When we come back, we nip out to the middle of the Stellar Basin. Oh yeah, we fit that kind of machine thing first to the research station to make some noise. Upset, hopefully, sort of placate, but you know, sort of maybe upset the big kind of giant tentacle monster. Try and do some dredging around there while we can. Get the fish samples, get the thing that we're after for the collector and then head away from there and never go near the giant horrible tentacle monster ever again. That's what we're going to do next time, I think, because, yeah, we'll wrap things up for the moment, come back and get on with all that. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Dredge. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. We found a whale. Pandas. Hello, panda friend. Oh, you're adorable. Good dear. It was too dear. Penguin, penguin, penguin. Peacock. Oh, we've got an owl. We've got manta rays. Parrots. And there we go. Beavers. Yay. Yes. It was an eagle. It's a turtle. We've got a narwhal. We've got frogs. This is... I love this.